Hi, my name is Philandro and I'm one of the drafting project managers here at Greenstone. There's a lot of information that is required to draft an ice panel building and it all depends on your building design and the structural requirements. Today, I'm going to review the steps of the drafting process and outline some of the challenges that we face along the way. A big part of our job is receiving and reviewing all the information that is received from the client. To start with, we need construction drawings, often called architectural drawings or IFCs, floor joist and roof truss drawings, a legal address of the project, and a rough opening schedule. Oftentimes, we get a list of frame sizes rather than the rough opening sizes. The difference between these two is that the frame size is the actual measurement from edge to edge of your unit, whether it be a door or window, while the rough opening is the actual size of the hole in the wall that is needed to fit that unit. Once we have all the information, it's our job to review it and begin creating 3D Revit drawings. Once the 3D drawings are complete, they are sent to the client for a review. If there's anything the client wants changed, now is the time to do it. With the client's approval, the 3D drawings are sent to the engineer to get sizing for stud spacing, panel width, foam density, and point load support. So the next step is the prefab stage or prefabrication stage. This is where we take the 3D model and show the panels on that model. After that, we go into the shop stage and this is where we create individual sheets for the individual panels. From here, we have an internal review of the shop drawings and make any corrections. And if any panelizing is needed for tall walls, this is when we will make the tall wall shop drawings. At this point, the drawings are sent back to the engineer to be reviewed and sealed. Once you re receive the engineer's seal, we will print out the drawings for the plans. Also, a spreadsheet of data is extracted, which provides the production floor with all the information they need to produce the panels. At this point, the drawings are given to the production team and the ice panels go into production. And our part of the greenstone process is finished. The biggest challenge we face is not receiving all the information from the client in a timely manner, or the information isn't correct or complete. We understand that this process is new to most clients, so we're here to help and guide you through the process. So feel free to ask us any questions. If you want to learn more about ice panels, head on over to gsbp.ca.